Hello, welcome back to Fun Time Crafts 24-7. This is going to be a walk through the box. This is the Anna Griffin Create Crop at Home 4 uh, for 2024. And uh, I've already opened it and went through it. Um, I was going to do an unboxing video on it, but I ended up with a technical difficulty on that. And so we're actually going to just walk through the box then instead, um, look at all the contents of it, and then kind of have a bit of a discussion on what I've seen in the uh, prep videos so far. And then also the impact of the membership and the changes and how that is going to affect this event here. And uh, so basically, this is the Phoebe collection, this gorgeous box here. It's absolutely beautiful. This is the storage box that your um, event kit comes in. It's a super sturdy, absolutely gorgeous inside and out uh, storage box that you get to keep. It's a bonus uh, that all your supplies come in. Um, this is your beautiful welcome envelope. It's absolutely gorgeous. You can totally utilize this and make something else out of it. In this comes your uh, welcome to the event, uh, your itinerary, and your beautiful collector pin. It's absolutely beautiful. It's green and gold this year. A beautiful pale green and gold. And it's so pretty. Um, this year... Uh, including the kit is also a 12 by 12 album. However, it is a new style this year. Um, they're, they've been made with a beautiful fabric out, um, uh, cover on the outside, uh, with the little window on the front that you could customize. Um, however, this year, this one is done in a beautiful matte, uh, paper, uh, cover. And instead of it being post bound, it's a three ring binder style. Um, super nice. Uh, comes with 10 uh, page inserts with an IV cardstock uh, for the interior portion. And absolutely lovely and nice. Uh, to operate this, you just pull these two tabs. They open up. You can switch your pages around, add more pages in, uh, and so forth. Uh, you just pinch them together to close it. And uh, this uh, binder uh, or album cover is about i, I want to say it's like an inch oh let's whoopsie uh let's look at that uh it's about an inch and a half deep so when you're putting your pages together the thing that you're going to want to think about is the dimension on your pages the depth of the page that's going to affect your album far as how far it ends up alligatoring open uh anna griffin pages tend to be super super dimensional which makes your album like just go like this. Ooh. So we'll want to be very mindful of that, like when we're putting our pages together. But uh, you should be at an inch and a half, be able to um, utilize those fun little details and things and make a super fun, most beautiful album um, because the collections that are in this one are so gorgeous. So that's the new album style. It's so pretty. We'll see how this new style works out. Um, I've only worked with the postbound ones in my very short time at scrap scrapbooking and uh, you're able to put extenders on the spines and so I've had to like at like my third double layout I've had to like expand it like an inch because they, they end up being so thick so we'll just we'll see how this comes so um, there's three collections in this um, the well it Mine's in backwards, so the third collection is technically Virginia. That's the third day. The second day is going to be your Faded Rose collection, and this one is so beautiful. They're all beautiful, but wow, this one is phenomenal. It is phenomenal, and what they do with this collection is absolutely beautiful. The first collection is actually technically Phoebe, and this is um, the uh, design of the box is the Phoebe collection. Uh, in this, you also get a tools packet as well as a swag bag. And then look at the, even the interior, not just the lid, is decorated so beautifully. It's it's a super sturdy, really nice storage box uh, that you'll get to utilize when you're finished. Now, when I was doing the prep videos, I noticed um, the normally, uh, my experience has been... And granted, I've only been doing all these events since Crop at Home 2. And I've done all the events since then. Um, the experience is that you never, we didn't hardly ever use anything out of the swag pouch. 
last year and this year, um, we're using a lot of the swag pouch. And I think we end up using all the gold, all the matte foil gold in the swag pouch. So when you get your email for the crop at home stock up sale, you're, you might want to think about picking up another, um, gold matte foil cardstock. Um, the other thing, uh, that I noticed in this event is they're doing interactive pages and as, as these events have usually been all inclusive, you were able to create everything that they create in the event this year. It's not so you'll be able to create an entire album, but it won't be exactly the same way that they do it. Um, they're doing a beautiful interactive pages that you have to have interactive page, uh, protectors for they, they, uh, suggest that you have them. It's not necessary, but what they're going to show you is using those, um, and then show you how to adapt the 12 inch protector to to insert those so that way you don't have to pull the page out. You'll be able to utilize the interactive portion on the 12 by 12 without having to pull it out of the sleeve. So um, yeah, there is that. So I would highly recommend getting on your email for the stock up sale and picking those up. You get, I want to say like 24 of them or something like that for it's, it's, um, I think it's like eight sizes of four of each. So there's like about 24 of them or so. There's It's something like that. It's like 24 sheet protectors, four of each size for about $35 is what they are. And um, yeah, so there is that. Um, a little bit of an extra cost, but I think it'll be worth it because it looks like it's going to be a pretty fun page when it's all said and done. So let's go ahead and go through these collections as well. Um, so now, uh, let's see, if you haven't seen uh, Martha, Martha did a unboxing video already. Uh, there was a there was a video, obviously, on HSN, if a lot of you bought it there, on um, the contents that were in the box. Um, I realize this is just something <laughs> so we can uh, have something to do while we're uh, discussing. Because the other caveat I didn't even think about was the fact that this year, uh, normally, uh, the old membership last year, uh, two of the perks that you would get were you got free shipping on all your orders and you save 10% across the board. Sale item, not sale item, no matter what, you save 10%. This year that's changed uh, for, if you're a member, Anna Griffin member for her website, um, you get free shipping on $50 or more, but the big change is you only get 10% off of regular priced items. So last year when I bought the crop at home of uh, or when I last year at the Create Nine event in November, when I bought this when I bought this event, I was able to apply my ten percent discount and get this event for three fifty five. Well, when they offer the um, at the end of the event that big sale at the end of the event when they offer that, we're no longer going to be able to use our ten percent discount. So unless they do like a um a event a, a participant price um to adjust for that savings uh we might all end up actually spending the same price whether you buy it in the event or outside the event it won't matter i'm not sure what they're going to do i don't know if they're still going to offer it for the 400 and then anybody can buy it after that um like you were able to purchase it for 399 on hsn um or if they're going to offer a different participant price, I'm not sure what they're going to do there. Um, but if you were a member, you had a special perk that allowed you to save that extra 10% and really um, utilize your discounts. Um, but yeah, with that, which it was really nice because I would buy mine and I'd buy my mom's. So I'd save almost a hundred bucks and it was like stinking nice. And so now with the 400, I'm not going to be able to do that. And then also any of the other things that you buy up that you buy on the sales and stuff, you don't, you don't get that discount applied anymore. So 
yeah, that's kind of a bummer. But, I mean, you're buying quality, so there is that. <laughs> I mean, really. This stuff is absolutely gorge gorgeous, and it's, like, top-notch. Look at this paper, right? That's the Phoebe paper. That is so beautiful. So, in these paper collections that you get out of the three paper kits, um, you get four of each uh, design. They're double-sided. They're absolutely beautiful, but... Uh, the other thing, too, that I noticed when I was watching the prep videos, there are a lot of them where you use all four sheets. So the other thing about these kits is that normally they would have enough paper in these to where you didn't really have to worry about if you cut the paper wrong. There was room for error. There's no room for error. Uh, we learned this in Create 9 when we were doing the Trellis album especially. Um, the trellis album, there was a very, very limited amount of that beautiful teal uh, foil cardstock. And I ended up cutting mine wrong. Didn't know that. Went back to uh, Just and couldn't do, couldn't fix it, couldn't fix my error. And it was just a tiny error. So you guys will want to really be sure to make sure to, to measure like three times and cut once. <laughs> make sure that you're using the right piece for the right thing that you're cutting because there's quite a few layouts that you're not going to be able to correct if it's not right. So, and we, I think we end up using up almost all all of the kits like we end up using a lot of paper um in the layouts they are gorgeous though it's it's totally worth it so don't let me scare you in that regard i'm not trying to scare you by any means but i want you to be aware don't just go willy-nilly cutting up your paper because i tried to see if i could stock up like there's a beautiful champagne um foil in there there's these beautiful papers you can't buy this stuff yet it's only for the kit so it being crop at home for specific just be just make sure just triple check your work uh before you commit to cutting anything <laughs> that's all i'm saying uh make sure you do it yeah because you don't want to cry right you don't want to like be totally bummed out that you messed something up uh just just make sure you're 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 measuring it properly because <laughs> I mean this stuff is so pretty uh kind of wish I would have bought two boxes now um if I would have known that the supplies in this was going to be a little bit limited um but it's so worth it it's absolutely gorgeous uh the event is so stinking fun um yeah me and my mom always have a really really good time god look at that aren't these just beautiful the patterns the cardstock is lovely um, I know I'm going to be super hesitant when I do go to cut these up. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to do it now watching the videos. Um, I'm going to, I might end up doing this all after the event just so I'm not in a rush. I'm not hurried. Gosh, look at that pattern, right? Um, yeah, look at, there's like a, there's like a blue version and a, and a lavender version. They're so gorgeous. Yeah, these are just absolutely stunning. I love the colors in this, uh, this year. It's so pretty. Um, and then all the, all the, uh, accessories that go with it, the borders and things, they're just beautiful. Um, I am loving it. I think my favorite thing, I don't know, they're so pretty. They're all really beautiful. And you also get, you, so you get several designs of borders this time. Um, there's one, two, three, five, no, four styles of borders. You get four of each border and, um, just absolutely stunning. Just gorgeous. So there's this one here. Four of each of these. And then look at this beautiful, delicate little flowery one there. And then this one here. They're just gorgeous. And we utilize a bunch of these. And as I, I was remembering prior, man, we had a lot of stuff left over. And I don't know as if we're going to end up with that this time. It looked like we were going through a bunch of it. Um, so then, and uh, so instead of the title dies like we had last year, we're actually getting some stickers instead. These are really pretty. I wish I wish they were the dies, but these are gorgeous as well. Um definitely you can only and they're really thick cardstock stickers. They're they're an actual sticker. They're really pretty. I've already taken one uh, a couple of them off so you can see what they look like in the previous one that I messed up on. Um so when I get to the ones that are already punched out, I'll show you what they look like when you peel them off. Um, you get these stickers, 
you get uh, these. So you only get a few of these titles. I wish there was like, you used to get like a whole pack of these. There were like 20 of them. They were just a fabulous amount. And uh, now you only just get a few of them. But uh, maybe she'll offer these uh, in like a pack after the event. I don't know. Um, I just love these. These are my favorite. Uh, you can use them on cards. You can use them in layouts. Uh, you can use them on uh, just home decor projects. They're super fun. On gifty items. You can use them on packaging. They're just very nice. Uh, so in this kit, you get these beautiful flowers. They're one-dimensional. Um, I don't remember them being one-dimensional prior. Um, and I'm thinking they're keeping them this way because of the interactive pages. Um, they don't want to add bulk to those. So they're doing the single layer sticker uh, embellishments. There is so many in this too. Look at look at the amount of flowers that you actually get. So there is a lot of flowers like in this. Um, they're just all single layered. So if you wanted them, wanted to, you could actually double them up and do like the, you know, like a decoupage effect on these. If you did want the multiple with uh, the dimension and things like that. But there's all these beautiful different styles they're just great. And you get these bows. There's these bows in here. Look how sweet those are. Aren't those super pretty? And then there's this style as well. Right? Aren't those great? Yeah. So lots of variation in uh, floral sticker embellishments that you can utilize. D all different sizes from small to larger. Uh, like, like, see, just the double flower. You get the single flowers. So kind of depending on what size of a spot you're needing to fill or what you're wanting to accent. There's the different sizes to utilize as well. So super nice. And then you end up, uh, like in this uh, Phoebe collection, the foil the foil st stickers. There's actually quite a few of these as well. Um, so you do get those. Um, there's none of these extra bits in the swag pouch. Um, so I don't know if they actually got added, like the amount got split between all the kits. Or if they just didn't add those to those. But look at these bows. Oh my goodness, there's feathers, there's all different kinds in here. They're so pretty. Look at those bows. I think these are utilized on one of the pages as well. Um, but oh man, what they do with the um what they do with the kits is stunning. The pages are so pretty. And you know what I did? I just went to the prep videos and she shows at the beginning of all the prep videos what you're gonna make. So I just like watched the first couple of minutes. And then uh, to find out what we were going to end up doing to like to see how much we were going to use, I just kind of scrolled through the video and uh, look at those butterflies. Oh, so pretty. I love the flourishes. Wow, those are beautiful. Yeah, there used to be like you would get these in the kits and then they would be a whole bunch of them in the swag pouch and they didn't do that this year. So I don't know. I don't know if they were added extra to each of the kits or what. But yeah, so I went and I scrolled through the video to see what what we were going to actually need. And that's that's how I discovered the interactive pages. And that's how I also discovered that we're using up a lot of the metallic that's in the swag pouch. The pink, we use a lot of the pink, if not all of it. You end up using all the champagne. I mean, almost all the champagne, if not all of it. The gold, I think she said we did use it all. I think on the first day even. Um... Or there might be one sheet left. Um, but there there wasn't much if there was any left. So that's the Phoebe collection. So the second one that we get to play with is the Faded Rose. And look at, wait till you see the paper in this one. Oh my heavens. This is gorgeous. Oh yeah, so you get a lot of paper. So there's a lot of paper. So you still at least get a lot of paper. We just end up using a lot of it. This is not in the proper order in which it comes. Mine's all, I was so excited about this collection. Look at this paper. Is that the most beautiful thing ever? This is that gorgeous faded rose. It's it's stunning. Wait till you see the other and the borders. Oh, man. Or I might be upside down is what it is. Oh, and she does some amazing things with this collection. This ends up so beautiful. What she does with these pages Wow, I cannot wait to do these. I'm a little a little bit scared. <laughs> oh, especially with this. Oh my goodness. There's an interactive page that's phenomenal with with these. Oh, dude. She she knocked it out of the park this year with what she does with these. They're so pretty. The pages are gorgeous. A little bit nervous. I'm a little This is one of my favorites. Oh my gosh. Oh, and 
these pages are directional, like how she has you cut them out. Be aware of how you're cutting your patterns out. That's another big thing. Um, it's because you need it to look a certain way, to cut out a certain way in order to how she utilizes it on the page. So, And she uses all four of these, these this beautiful sheet. This was one of the ones where I realized, oh, that's all four. We only get four. Ah, what are we going to do? And then I tried to go back on the the uh, stock up sale to see if we could buy any of this stuff. And you can't buy it. You can't buy it. So just be just be very aware of what you're doing. Like I said, measure twice, cut once. <laughs> or, or measure three times. I don't know. Measure a lot. <laughs> so, yeah. Aren't they pretty? They're so pretty. Look at this gray one. This is a gray one. Oh, all double-sided. Look at that foil. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Sorry, sorry, sorry. That's a new sheet. So there's that one. And that's the back. Beautiful gold foiling on there. And then look at this one. Oh, oh. Oh, sorry. Hold on. Oh, it's this one. Look at that rose pattern. <gasps> Isn't that beautiful? And this is a, a the vanilla and rose. Oh, my goodness. Just like a beige, a creamy beige rose. And, the, and then that vining pattern. Oh, this. Oh, this is so pretty. This is so pretty. It's going to be hard. I might shed a tear when I cut this one. I might shed a tear. Uh, yeah, these are so pretty. Look at that. Oh, my God. Look at those roses. Oh, beautiful. Oh, I cannot. I'm going to order a couple of these it, when they go on sale. I'm specifically, this is absolutely beautiful. If this doesn't sell out right after the show or, you know, the event, I would be so surprised because this is gorgeous. It's so beautiful. And then look at these borders. Oh, my heavens. They're magnificent. I saw these on camera and thought, oh, those are nice. Wait till you guys get them in person. And then what she does with these is amazing. She combines these two together. So you get four of each of these as well. And she uses all of them. All of them get used. So just be careful, just pay attention uh, to what she's doing. And then look, this one, this is like, I think these were like the inside outside or there was an inside outside thing she was talking about of a pattern. Like, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? You can't see it on camera. This is my favorite. <gasps> that is beautiful. It's all intricately cut at the top with those gorgeous roses on there. And, there, and then it's all gold foiling at the bottom on beige. Oh, it's beautiful. And then this one. She does the most beautiful work with this collection. It's stunning. It is so pretty. And then there again, you get um, your sentiments, your big title sentiments. You get your uh, beautiful title cards. Uh, oh, I guess I could put these away later. Well, I don't want them to get ruined. These are my favorite. <laughs> Hang on one second. These are my absolute favorite. This collection is so pretty. So stinking pretty. And, uh, yeah, so you get these, uh, sentiments here. I was trying to see if these were the ones that I peeled apart or not. And that other one when I was trying to do an unboxing. And, uh, yeah, but, oh, man, they're, this stuff's gorgeous. So pretty. Still kind of bummed out that you only get a few of these, like I said. Because, look, at thankful for us. Live in the moment. Oh, man, I want, like, a dozen of each. Special moments, right? This is bliss. These are my favorite Family is forever. Life is magical. I would use all of these and would want like a hundred of each. I mean, obviously that's excessive, but <laughs> these, like, I would totally use these on like so many things. That's why I like those and they're easy. So look, look at these. These are gorgeous too. Um, I just wish she would have made them into dyes. So that way we could make the background color whatever we want. We can make the top. I would honestly do them in the gold and the ivory because that's just gorgeous. <laughs> but do wish they were dyes. They're so beautiful. Oh, my goodness. Even this block lettering is absolutely wonderful. Um, but, yeah, so there's those. Um, so then you get, let's see, you get these. There again, you get beautiful. Uh, these, I think, were supposed to be champagne. One of these were champagne and one were gold. I don't remember which is which. I hope I put these in the right in the right packages. I thought she said these new ones were like champagne. Or maybe they are gold. I don't know. Uh if you if you went through yours or you guys heard the same thing. I, oh yeah, these are champagne. So like some of these embellishments are in the new champagne color. Look at look at the difference. Like uh, these are champagne, these are gold, and then these are that beautiful new Champagne, it's almost like a brown, like a beautiful brown. 
Oh, you could drink that up. It's so pretty. And uh, yeah, that's that's exactly. So these are gold and these are champagne, that new champagne. And she doesn't have this on the uh, stock up sale yet either. Or not yet, but she doesn't. It's not on there. So, oh, I want some of these. I want, I want, I want more of that champagne. That champagne is gorgeous. And then obviously all the different metallic like types of flourishes. Oh, and they these even come in the champagne. The flourishes, look, they come in the champagne. Oh, they're beautiful. They're so pretty. Okay, so you get those. And then look at these flowers. It's there again, one dimensional. And look at the amount. Like there's so many. You get a lot of one dimensional flowers. Like she did include a lot. I'm thinking that's where all the flowers from the swag kit ended up these. And she just like split them in the three pouches. In the three different designs. So you just got a multitude. Like so many of them. Look at there is so many. There is like a lot. And look at the you get the gray. And then you get that beautiful like golden brown color. It's like a golden brown. It's beautiful. Look at those. Aren't those just amazing? Those look at these. Look at these. I just just absolutely beautiful the little roses like isn't that wonderful look at these these colors are beautiful especially if you like a neutral palette these are gorgeous i could see this paper collection mixing it with brown and a beautiful like a pine like a deep pine green a sage green oh wow i bet it would be absolutely beautiful you it would be really easy and then like a uh, buttercream like do you like a buttercream uh, with it as well uh, so we wouldn't necessarily have to stay this really chic and elegant uh like wedding type you can make it just a neutral palette and use it in a very beautiful like natural looking way with the greens and like a buttercream or a brown oh my goodness i have a twig a dark a uh, brown in like a tw it's like called twig and it's like the same um color palette Oh, it's gorgeous, and this would be beautiful because the my that twig cardstock I have would be is really beautiful with ivory. Oh, it's so gorgeous, ivory and gold. Oh my goodness, it's beautiful. Okay, uh, so here we go with this one. Um, so let's see. Hang on one second. So oh, wait, let me get these put away real quick, and then we'll go through the other one. Hold on. Okay, so got reorganized a little bit here. And uh, so then the last collection is the Virginia collection. And uh, this one is absolutely beautiful too. So they only do interactive pages like in the first and the second class. And then the last class is she goes back to doing a few of the old school type of stuff um, with the pleating and things like that. And um, beautiful, beautiful pages. But the interactive ones are the third class on day one and day two. And this... This paper is absolutely beautiful. And this is all messed up. It's not how it comes. Um, it, this is just how it ended up because I was going through it. Technically, I think this is actually the first page. <laughs> um, this is the Virgin, Virginia collection. And this stuff is gorgeous. And uh, we end up using a lot of this. And so, so pretty. Um, four sheets of each. There again. Just lovely. And, uh, yeah, oh, this stuff is gorgeous. I love this stuff. And I think this one, Anna said this was one of her favorites. Look at look at the foiling on this one. It's so beautiful. And what they do with this one, they cut the borders out of this. Um, they do all their fancy cutting with this. It, it's so pretty. The borders end up so pretty because of that super thick gold foil line. Oh, my heavens. It is stunning. And then that pattern on the back. Uh, let's see, this one. Okay, th these, so there's that one, right? That one has the green. So pretty. This one is this one with the pink. Beautiful cardstock. Then there's a, there's like a peachy, sagey green version of that pink and blue one. And this is what it looks like on the back. And this one is gorgeous too. With that same foiling detail. Gorgeous. So pretty. Oh, and then she does, is this the one? She does this amazing cut. Or is it, is it this one? Ah, oh, no, no, these aren't it. She does this amazing flip work. Oh my goodness, you will, you will be so excited when you see it. It's so pretty. So then here's this one. Yeah, these are beautiful. Yeah, oh, look at that one. This is the green version of the first one. 
and then look at that. Oh, I think it's this one. She does a really cool paper trick with this one. Um, the layout on this one is really beautiful. It's so neat what she does with it. Um, and it, it, it's it's a it's an intermediate or it it's a the level difficulty is like intermediate to upper because <laughs> I was looking at it going yeah I think I could do that but you'd have to be uh like super concentrating on what you were doing when she was doing it it was just gorgeous I love I'm gonna try it though I am gonna try it because it is beautiful what she does so then the flowers you get in this one are like these painted flowers still single layer uh, but you get quite a bit of them you get quite a few like look at this I can even almost put them in all in one hand like they're so pretty so, yeah, you get all these beautiful painted flowers that match the paper just perfect. Look at that. They they just are so pretty, all these flowers. Or they're watercolored. They're like watercolored flowers. They're absolutely beautiful. Those, look at those roses. And then all nice sizes, too. Like the smaller flowers, medium. You get larger uh, clusters of them and like look at this one too and they're nice because that's that's something you could put along a photo and it wouldn't take up like a big section of anything so you can enhance them very nicely you even get like a yellow palette there um that beautiful like golden actually probably is what it is and uh, look at these just beautiful all different uh, styles look at that one oh that's a beautiful cluster and then uh yeah so that's all the flowers just beautiful and lovely Hang on, that's Buddy. <laughs> yeah, so that's all the flowers. And then you get, you still get uh, gold flourishes in this one. A lot of beautiful things. This one has some amazing corners. I don't remember the corners being so big. Um, Like this one, and look at these butterflies. Look at the butterfly. Oh, just beautiful. You get those hummingbirds. Um, These beautiful beautiful hummingbirds and things oh they're so pretty that gorgeous and then still the flowers and things there's a few new designs because i don't know as if i remember this one there's these gorgeous bows and then i don't remember the corners being that big these are huge uh corners for the pages they're awesome i love those or maybe if they were i've used them up long ago because i had a few foil sets and ended up using all my corners but i didn't remember them being that big and then um, I haven't I haven't ordered them s since I used them up the corners up because uh, I had some other flourishes and things to use up as well. And um, so yeah, look at that bow to go onto the edge of a picture. How pretty! Or the edge of a page. Yeah, there's a few of those too. But so many beautiful things. And uh, yeah, these bows. Look at those. And then all the gold, different gold flourishes and things. Like right, how pretty are these? Yeah, so just beautiful, beautiful stuff. Um, yeah, so have did you guys have you guys gotten your boxes? Uh, I've seen quite a few people are getting them in, and um, you know, saying on uh, posting on Facebook that they got theirs. And then, did you get your uh, stock up sale link? Have you been on there yet? Have you done your prep videos? Uh, I'm definitely waiting. I'm I'm gonna wait till they post the classes, and then proceed. Um, uh, hang on. Uh, yeah, so, uh, a friend just came in. <laughs> so, yeah, and then, uh, let's see, you get the, uh, you get these as well. So, you get these type of, uh, title and cards. Yeah, these are really awesome. Memories of us. Oh, I love that. Precious memories. See, I want so many of these. Our life together. Oh my God, life is beautiful. So, you and me. Oh, love that. Happiness is being together. Oh my gosh, I want like a bazillion of those. And then these are these are the ones the those title stickers. So I peeled this one, and yeah, so they're a nice. Oh, whoops. Um, didn't realize that was on the had the little thing on the back. But they're a nice cardstock. Um, and then they're all you know cut out in the middle and stuff. So they're really pretty. Um, but they are a sticker, so you have to, whether you uh, dust the back of them so they're not adhesive and you can apply them on dimension or something like that. Um, you could probably put these on another layer of cardstock and then use your scan and cut or hand trim them out with the color behind if you wanted to map them with another color. But this is what these look like. So they're all cut out as well. So really pretty too. 
And um, yeah, really nice and adhesive if you just wanted to adhere them down. They're, they work really lovely that way as well. So yeah, gorgeous in all different ones. So yeah, just just beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, yeah, there again, wish these were dyes. Wish they were dyes. Wouldn't these have been great dyes? Man, they'd have been beautiful. Just beautiful. But but the stickers are great too. I mean, it's better to have, you know, something than not have them at all, right? <laughs> so yeah. So and these are a fun new thing to try, right? And then uh let's see, and then this kit also comes with beautiful borders as well. Uh let's see. Uh let's see, let's grab those. Yep. And this is the Virginia one. So there's these. Oh man. Um, yeah, and then you get four of each on these, right? Beautiful, right? This green one, that ruffle one with the rose, roses, and then a pink one that looks like that other one. Like, right? Really pretty, right? And four of each. So, yeah, really nice. So, um, that are, those are the three paper kits in this. And then you get a, you get a swag pouch as well. Uh, let's see. You get a swag pouch that has a pack of, um, uh, oh, sorry guys. That has a pack of, uh, beautiful cream and, uh, an olivey green ribbon in it. Beautiful. You get these journaling cards. There's four different kinds and four different colors. So you get the cream, the, uh, pink, the blue, and a green. Beautiful. You use up almost all your gold matte foil. These are a, uh, I believe these are, are these a nine? Uh, an eight. They're an eight by 12 uh, sheet of gold. And then you get an eight by 12 in all these colors. And we use, I think, almost all the pink. We use a ton of the champagne that's in this. And I don't, uh, we use a bunch of the green. And I don't remember about the lavender. I can't remember. Um, but yeah, we use a lot of these. So yeah, yeah, I, I think I have enough in my stash that will compensate for these. Um, just not the champagne color cause that's the gold. Now let's look at the, the champagne is beautiful. It almost looks gold, but it's not like, this is the color difference. It almost has like a brown tone. It is really beautiful. And when you put this on the, um, faded, a uh, rose collection it looks it takes on a different color it's beautiful it's almost has like a deep brown golden tone it's just gorgeous it's absolutely beautiful and uh yes yeah, to where this is this is like a brown beige and this is more golden like yellow but they're it's stunning and it's it's hard to see the beauty until you see the pages that we put together and oh they're they're lovely they're so beautiful so then there's this pink I tried to make sure I had enough of that pink and the lavender and then the green. And then this is this one. But yeah, those are your foils. And let's see. Uh, the, yeah, there wasn't too much else. And then your text weight papers. Some of these papers, I wished um, you got. I wish these were cardstocks. Oh, my goodness. The, the patterns are lovely. And you get how many sheets? Of, you get, let's see, you get quite a few sheets of each. Um, and they're single-sided. They're single-sided. Um, uh, let's see here. So you get one. Oh, is it just four? No. Yeah, just four. You get four of each. And look at that. Beautiful. I love this one. This is the one I love. That's got gold foiling on it with that pink design in the center. It's so beautiful. I love that. Like, it's an Ar argyle looking pattern. It is beautiful. Oh, and there's another cream one, too, that I wish was cardstock as well. Um, This one. And then look at this one. Especially for, like, a guy. For a masculine layout. Oh, man. That one is beautiful. It's like a blue-gray color. Oh, it's stunning. It's so pretty. There are so many. I wish all these were cardstocks. I know why they're, they're I know why they are what they are because we use a few sheets. We don't use too many of them, but we do do some um, paper tricks with them. So you have to have text weight for that. And then look at this pattern. Wouldn't you love that in cardstock? That is gorgeous. And then this one. Oh, this is one of my favorites. Wish that was cardstock. Oh my goodness, that's gorgeous. And then this one. All oh, these. I wish they were all cardstocks. They're so pretty. They're so pretty. So that's the text weight papers. 
and let's see and that's everything in the tool packet or the the swag pouch um and then you have the tool packet and in the tools you get you get a a few things with this you get a few sets of dies in this um and they're really gorgeous so the tools you get your uh crop at home four frame dies let's see and these are beautiful. I cannot wait to utilize these. These are just stunning. Look at that. Oh my heavens. This beautiful ruffled one. Oh my goodness. And these these are going to be way prettier cut out than you can even imagine on here. Um, this one I think is my favorite. When I saw them cut out. I don't know. It's a toss up because, well, uh, I like them all. <laughs> I like all of them. They are all just just beautiful and then they have matching borders so this one these come with um look at that detail uh with the layering as well um i think there's only one set that doesn't have the layering in the very center and it's this one but look at the detail that comes on the middle it's just beautiful it's it's really really lovely so yeah oh my gosh right and then you get and then last but not least uh what you get are oh here maybe you can see maybe you can see the frames in these Oh, yeah. Look at that. See, this is one of my favorites. And then that ruffled one. How pretty, right? And then look at that one. Oh, yeah. They're they're just gorgeous. So then you get, these are your border dies. You get five borders. And they all have the layering for behind. Um, just gorgeous. And there again. Oh, my goodness. Like, yeah, let's look at the, let's look at the um, inspiration sheet. And then look at that. Oh, I love this one. When she was showing that one. <gasps> Beautiful. Yeah, look at that. That's that's one of the frames too. And then these. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this one. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. Oh, I cannot wait to do that one. They are so pretty. Which I think is this one here. She cut that out. Oh my eye. I was drooling. <laughs> it's so pretty. Definitely swooning. I was swooning. It was just beautiful so yeah i cannot wait for the class it's going to be so fun it'll be really interesting um yeah but i don't think i'm actually going to craft i think i'm just going to enjoy the show try to uh jump in where i can uh for um it in the comments and stuff um on the it's not texting uh it's commenting on the comment section. I'm going to try to join in there and stuff if I can. I don't know if I'm going to scrapbook any of it during because it's all. And it's primarily because of a limited amount of um, supplies that you get with the kit. I don't want to do anything. Uh, I don't want to be in a hurry that I mess it up. So I think I might end up doing it afterwards. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I'll let you know, though, uh, as we go along. Um, if I make anything, I'll share it. If I don't, there won't be a video. And then obviously you'll be like, oh, you're just having fun. And yeah, I'm too scared to cut anything out. So there it is there. But uh, let me know. Let me know what you guys thought of the supplies in the box. What you think about having to buy those interactive pages separately rather than being included. If you think it's going to be an issue or not. I believe there's like several different styles of workarounds we can do. You don't necessarily have to have those. Um, to make the interactive pages. Um, I think it'll be just fine. I think we could definitely do a workaround with those. Uh, I did purchase some things off of Amazon uh, to see if we could use them as a replacement. Uh, however, I only bought a couple different sizes because I didn't realize she uses 11 by 11, a 10 by 10, two 8 by 8s, and two 9 by 9s. I bought 8 by 8s and 9 by 9s thinking that they were all that size, but they're not. Um, like I said, there's a 10 by 10 and an 11 by 11. Um, yeah, so you were still going to end up spending about the same amount. So it was cost justifiable just to spend the 35 and buy their interactive pages, which have an adhesive tab. And they were designed specifically for what it is we're doing. So um, far as actual scrapbook interactive pages that you can add, I didn't find anything. I have no idea where she found them at because she were she said other companies make them um i found page protectors lp sleeves um and what were the other th or clear bags made something you could adapt uh but or certificate they were certificate sleeves but nothing that was a scrapbook interactive page sleeve page protector so yeah i'm not sure 
I don't know where where else you would find them. If you guys know of any other place we could buy them and maybe they're the same cost or cheaper, let us know. Um, that would be really awesome if you'd share your knowledge with the rest of us. And um, yeah, let us know. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Uh, if you're excited about it, um, and if you're prepping, if you're going to do it beforehand, or uh, and what you guys think about all this stuff uh, with the membership and the discount and all of those things. Yeah, definitely interesting, but absolutely gorgeous and going to be super, super fun. Uh, hopefully I get to see you there. Uh, can't wait for the event. If you made it this far, thanks so much for hanging out. And until next time, happy crafting, everyone. Bye-bye.